Hi everyone, today's Korean drama review is on Five Fingers. It's a Korean very dramatic drama. It's 30 episodes and it started airing of this year, um, summer of this year. It's been a very long drama. It stars the famous actor Ju Ji Hoon and the two other main characters, it's Chi Jung Uk who is the other male lead, and then Jin Se-young as Hong Dami. And the other main female lead character is actually the mother of the two male leads. And one is the adopted son and the other one is her real son. And this is the first Korean drama review where I'm not going to be able to recommend the drama for viewing. And this is my own personal opinion. Some people might have really liked this drama, but I thought it was a little disjointed. It was overly dramatic. And I thought some of the twists and turns of the storyline was interesting. And it's a story of two brothers, two half brothers under a very rich family and kind of the battle between the two of them as well as the mother who is the matriarch of the family who was married into the family from a poorer upbringing. And so there's a lot of controversy um, within the drama storyline, but then not only that, but there's a lot of Korean, excuse me, a lot of drama with the actual miniseries, the Korean miniseries. The first one is they thought that the Korean drama was plagiarized off of the book novel Blood Rhapsody. And then the second uh, controversy that happened was the first female lead, Ham Eun Jung, who is from the Korean pop group Tiara, she was um, cast first initially as a female lead, but due to controversy around Tiara, bullying, she was actually taken off the show and some of her commercials were canceled and I think that the controversy around her, you know, spilled over to many different areas of her life. In the cast picture that I posted earlier, that was with the original main lead female character from Tiara, and here is the girl who actually played the role in the Korean drama series, Five Fingers. So, I think I tried watching this drama many different times. I watched several episodes but I was never really connected with any of the characters. I felt that some of the acting was overly dramatic and some of, sometimes the storyline was just a little too unrealistic. And I know that Korean dramas, it is a lot um, kind of fictional and it's fantasy, but they threw so many things into the pot that I don't feel like a lot of the storyline was well developed. So it was kind of like, well, let's just add more drama and more controversy in the storyline and see what, what pans out. And I didn't feel that it really panned out in, many, in a good way. So I really don't recommend um, Five Fingers. And the overall storyline, it's pretty good in terms of uh, it's about a piano making dynasty and the two sons are geniuses at playing the piano. They're very gifted. Um, they battle it out. The mother has her issues with the husband as well as you know the half, her half son, well her full son and her half son. And there's some um, interesting storyline between all of them. But I didn't really feel that they developed any one of the storylines uh, very well. So, and some of the secondary stories that were surrounding the main storyline were also just kind of overly, overly um, drawn out in some areas. And I've been trying to watch different episodes here and there, but it just, nothing's really stuck. But one thing that I, two things that I do recommend is uh, Juji Hoon, who is the male lead, his first real breakout role in Goong, and that was when he starred with Yoon Eun Hae, and I thought that that was a really cute drama. It's one of my all-time favorites, and um, just, he did such a great job. He was really, his character, I thought he fit it really well, 
and um, it was just a fun character. And an interesting to thing to note with Gung and Five Fingers is that uh, Ju, Ju Ji Hoon's um, mother in this drama was his aunt in Gung. So she was, he was the prince to be heir to the throne and she was um, one of his aunts whose son was kind of competing for the throne. So that was actually a really good drama. The other recommendation that I have is Ju Ji Hoon's uh, movie, Kitchen, and that was with Shin Mina. And that was an incredibly cute movie. It was kind of, it kind of reminded me a little bit of an art house type film. Um, it had a slower pace, it had a fun storyline, it was unique, and um, not a lot of drama, but it just held my attention and I thought it was a very sweet, cute movie. So if you don't want to invest um, too much time in an entire drama series, definitely check out the movie Kitchen. So I hope you like my Korean drama review. I know that um, a lot of fans are out there for Ju Ji Hoon and they're rooting for him. So I hope his next drama pick will be uh, less controversial on just surrounding the Korean drama itself and that it has an amazing cast and has a really good storyline. So until we see you again on another Korean drama review, have a great night. Thanks.